Hello guys. So today I'd like to talk about Jehovah's Witnesses, and not just any Jehovah's Witnesses. This is、uh, we are looking at this book. Is as you can see, it's all Japanese. You couldn't read anything. I, I know. I'm going to translate it, so don't worry.、Uh, we are going to talk about the Japanese Jehovah's Witnesses community and also the Japanese ex Jehovah's Witnesses community. In well, in this video. So this is. A comic book. If you can just scroll down, you can see there's all the comic. I'm going to、uh, tell the story later. So, yeah. So the title of this book is the story of a child that's born in a family that often come come no often go to other people's home to solicit it. No, no. Well, they are door to door preachers. So they are door to door preaching. This is the A pickle, I think it's supposed to. And this book is written by Ishi Saya, or in English Saya Ishi. Uh, uh, so let's just call her Saya. This is Saya as she depicts herself when she was young. This is her mom. Her mom is a very fervent、uh, Jehovah's Witness. So she is a second gen now ex Jehovah's Witness, and she's writing this comic book to tell everybody about her. Childhood stories, being in well, Jehovah's Witness family. We can go. I don't know why these two pages are the same. We can go down and this is. Oh, by the way, in case you are thinking of this is a、uh, copyright infringement, and this is just the preview of on Amazon. You can just watch this. If you can read Japanese, you can read all the story. But you, I know if you are watching this video in English, you probably can. That's why I'm doing this, and I'm going to also. Make some comments and how how I think about the story and stuff.、Uh, so we can see there's、uh, twelve stories, and the the first two are free in the preview, and you can see all the other stuff. And this one talks about child abuse,、uh, and this one talks about when she have a fell in love, I think. Yeah, stuff. And I think it goes. It's it's not all like really harsh stuff. I don't think so. And this one is when she got free from. So it's it's like as she grow up, the story kind of have some progression, but not like. It's not really like a the story is not continue between these ones. But I think she grows grows up as the story develops. So let's just start with the first story, so you have some idea about what's、uh, is being written here. So we can see this is Saya, her mom, and she's trying to ask if she can go to、uh, her classmates' place to play, and because she was invited, and she was like, "Okay, I, I know I probably shouldn't. She's my friend, is so worldly and stuff." But then she was surprised because her mother. Is smiling and she said, "Okay, you can go." So she was like, "Really?" And she was getting so excited. Okay, and yeah, so she goes to her friend's home, and this is her friend. She's just very happy to see her, and、uh, yeah, so they go in and have a nice time. She drinks some coke. Did you cannot drink coke in the JW family? I, I really like is this. If you are an ex Jada, please tell me in comments. If if you aren't, you you cannot drink Coke. Are you Mormons? <laughs> I I think even Mormons can drink Coke, right? It depends on the region. <laughs> I don't know. And they gossip about the another girl in in their class, and they read a comic book. I think from the sickness. The Japanese comics books are really sick.、Hmm. Because they use like the. Not the best paper, I just say. I think they're probably recycled from newspapers or something.、And、then, so they had a real good time. She gives gives her a dress. You can see the skirt here, but you can also see there's a. I have no idea what this this is called.、Uh, anyway, so this is a full set of dress. So she was like, okay, so this is my old one, and you. You, she, she's talking to Sai. You always dress like this because 
I think from a Jehovah's Witness have a lot of dress code. I'm never a Jehovah's Witness, so if I'm making any mistake, please correct me. Uh, so they have some dress code, so they are not supposed to wear that kind of revealing clothes like these. I think that. So she never wore any like fancy clothes like her friends. So she was like, oh, envy and stuff. Little girls, you can, yeah, you, you know what's happening here. So she, seeing this, she really wants to help Saya. So she gives to her this dress. That's, I think that's what's happening here. So it's like, okay, let's play together again sometime and you can wear this dress. And she was really happy. You, with that, and she was like singing and stuff. She she went home, and she was like, "Oh, I really had a good time." But her mother interjects before she can finish the sentence. So, in case you are unfamiliar with Japanese, you have to go to the end of the sentence to know whether it's affirming an idea or rejecting that idea. So she said she she could have been saying she really had a good time, or she really had a bad time. She didn't. Got to that point because it's Japanese, so her mother is pre is assuming she had a bad time because it's with worldly people. It's no way this could be fun. So that's what her mother is saying. So she was like, "Okay, I, I get what's happening here. Mother is just trying to okay let her go once, and she's going to so it's go." It's going to know it's no fun, and she won't go again. She really had a good time. It's so sad. Oh, you have to. Uh, uh. Okay, but anyway, so she confirms. Con no, not confirms. Conforms to her mother's belief. She said, "Okay, it's not really fun, despite against her will." So she was like, "Okay, yeah." So, so from. From now on, let's just play with our brothers and sisters in the truth. And he, here's a just, he just said, okay, brother and sister is a religious language. It means uh, people in the same church. And this book is really for the people who doesn't know a lot about this religious world because Jap Japan is quite secular compared to, the, I guess, in the percentage of people that are seriously practicing. Religion, and I wish I I could say that, but yeah, actually Japan is more heavy on Buddhism, so so I guess it's for people who doesn't understand Christianity, like how Christianity because yeah. So after that conversation, she goes, I think her to her room or something. She she wore the dress her friend gave her. She was like. Oh, this is so nice. It just looks like everyone else. I could finally have a dress like everyone else. I can wear this, and nobody is going to laugh at me saying, "You dress like a dead." Whatever. I I don't know what kids say these days. Anyway, so she was like, "But this is kind of embarrassing," she says because it's kind of revealing. He, she felt like in a bit indecent. She she was going to wear a cardigan. She's looking for it. And then her mother interjects, the, like she was like, "Oh, what the hell are you doing?" I mean, probably not like that, but the tone of her mother would have sounded like that. So her mother was, like, and so she was like, "I'm just trying to try it on." And her mother says in disgust, "Just look at the shirt, how short it is, and." Your this thing looks like underwears, and this is just disgusting. Like she actually, she's actually saying this is disgusting. In here, so again, we can see Saya conforms to her mother's belief again. She says, "Yeah, so yeah, this dress is really weird, right?" Just like okay, so, her mother then okay, so just. Take off that satanic dress. I'm just going to throw away for you, okay? So, she's she's not really happy, but yeah, what what can you do? You live in a family like this, and th this is a note explaining Satan. 
interestingly, uh, this note says Satan is uh, uh, evil being that controls this world. But also, she says the the note says Satan is also something that's against the doctrines. Is that interesting? Maybe that's not interesting. Okay. Anyway, so she tells Yang Lisa she's sorry for her friend that gifted her this dress because it's going to be thrown away and they're probably never going to see each other again ever. And so that's kind of the end of this short story. But so this is like the epilogue. So her mother says, Are are you ready? She's like all dressed and carrying this thing. So he's dressed, dressed, dressed. And so they are like saying farewell to her her father, which is not a Jehovah's Witness. How did they get together? This is interesting. I thought Jehovah's Witnesses are supposed to only marry Jehovah's Witnesses. Any of ex JWs, current JWs, or whoever, if you know about this, please tell me in the comments. I'm really interested. Because her, her dad isn't a JW. She's, he's not going with them to the meeting. So the next page we can see this is a Kingdom Hall. This is how you write Kingdom Hall in Japanese. Yes, it's all kanji and and whatever. So we can see this these are her friends in the Kingdom Hall, in the congregation. They are greeting each other and they take a seat. I've actually been to a Japanese Kingdom Hall. I, I can confirm the the seats are like this. Maybe they're like this all around the world. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So we are and so then there's this guy, and so let's start the today's gathering with songs and prayers. And so they are saying, you get this. Now these days you just do it on smartphones, but I guess this is when she's young, so they don't have that yet. Uh, so we can see people singing songs. She she's, has her head down, and yeah, so listen to that. So in here it says, that's my mom, and she believes in God, and so that's the first story. That's all. And there's a second story, uh, just in case you're interested. Uh, I, I think this story is quite interesting too, so I'm going to uh, tell it to you. So, in start, we can see it. Oh, this is terrible. People are dying. So it says soon God is going to kill all the well bad people and then you are going to live happily ever after in the heaven on earth I, I think this depiction is wrong I think in the official Jehovah's Witness doctrines you don't stay married in the, the heaven on earth if, if anyone knows the place if, if I'm wrong please tell me I'm wrong just, I, I don't know I just heard it from someone but yeah, so there's child playing with line. <laughs> it looks nice, right? So and she says that's what my mom believes, and um, that's what my mom. Ah, so. That's why we have to follow God's words and tell this message here to everyone. And that's what my mom believes. Now we can see she's, I think she's doing her homework. And she's, you can see this is a typical Japanese room there, sitting on the floor, actually. This is tatami, those would have been tatami. And these are paper, paper doors and paper things. And if you can pull it sideways and it's going to be some storage space. This is a table, it's directly, it's like a coffee table height. I really like this, by the way. You can see that there's a, this kind of seat, and I'm currently sitting on the ground right now, on the carpet, though. But anyway, so it's like, did you finish your homework? Yeah. And you have, she's drinking with really some donuts. It's nice, and uh, having a good time. And then she says, okay, let's prepare. It's preparing for work. Um, so there's a, I think these are Bibles. What is this, this thing? No, so this is, we have some pen and this is probably 
one of those bookmarks like what does the Bible really teach us? Something like that. Um, anyway, so she's asking her, her a question. So why is it that in God destroys evil people it's not something we should be surprised and she's thinking uh, because uh, even today there are natural disasters to destroy people hmm I'm pretty sure my translation is correct but I'm not sure this is like official JW doctrine but I know does this this argument just doesn't make sense. Is this really something JW teaches? But anyway, if I'm wrong, please leave a comment and stuff. But like, what would an actual Jehovah's Witness say in this situation? Like, if you're an ex JW, when you were an active JW, what would you have answered to that question? Why God destroy evil people? Is it okay saying to do yeah okay so maybe just because she's so young she doesn't really understand the theology there or maybe that's trying to be she's she's trying to say here so so her mother was like yeah that's correct and uh, so that's why in the future, Jehovah is going to destroy. No, that's how we know in the future, Jehovah is going to destroy evil people because they're, they're destroying evil people right now with natural disasters. It just doesn't make sense. Maybe I'm, my Japanese is terrible. Maybe I'm misreading all this. It, it this says, why is not something to be surprised? I'm pretty sure that's the correct translation. Why is God destroying your people? It's not something to be surprised. But in here, it's like, how do we know it is true that God is going to destroy your people? So that's kind of, I know. Just conversation goes like this. I know. Anyway, so she, her mother, asked the second question. So if you want to live forever, what you have to not do? And uh, Saya says, to worship idols, to perform adultery, and you teach this to little girls. Oh, okay, fine. And never misuse blood. I mean, there's Ten Commandments, but blood. Ugh. Okay, big thing. So no misuse of blood. And her mother said, that's correct. Okay, so in here, uh, the answer is explaining what is misuse of blood. blood misuse of blood is to uh, take blood into your body, including uh, blood transfusion. And then there's somebody pressing a doorbell. Ping pong. That's how a Japanese doorbell sounds. I'm not sure what how an English doorbell would sound. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, animals would sound differently in different languages, by the way. I used to do the Chinese chicken sound, and everyone <laughs> would laugh. <laughs> but yeah, in Chinese, chicken sounds very different. <laughs> anyway, so there's another person. Probably, I think she's also a witness. So they gather around in her family, and they study the about the. JW literature. I'm I'm not even sure it's a pro proper word to say the Bible because you can see the Bible is closed. The JW literature is open. Uh, so they are talking about okay, Josiah, how how are you doing? Did did you do your homework and stuff? No, this is not talking about her homework. This is talking about whether you are studying for. Oh. Oh my god! Holy shit! So she was preparing for meeting with her. So in here, she and her mother are preparing for meeting with her and 
like this is the actual study they are preparing in here for the actual study so presumably she would answer the questions correctly so she was asking did, did you prepare for the today's studies and Sarah says yes and she encouraged her says oh that you're you're so great and so, something like that so they said they had prayer and says amen and she was like so so in <laughs> it's just something fun <laughs> okay so so this is how you are supposed to sit on uh, tatami like the official sitting way like so anyway so in japanese they have a word for it and but it make your feet it hurts your feet and they get kind of it feels like paralyzed them very fast so that you become like that yeah and her is well we can see there's a shape of hand there so she definitely did something i'm not sure what's the correct verb did she slap her on the side maybe that's the correct way to express it in english she's disciplining her it's fine right? don't do that because the proper way to say i'm not sure that's a jw thing that's probably just a japanese jw thing and really in well, when I'm living in Japan, nobody cares about this. None of my friends sit like this. I sometimes do because sometimes it actually feels better to sit like this. But yeah, so the most polite way to sit is that, but it makes your feet hurt. She, on the other hand, when you, I think what happens is if you sit like this for like hours and hours, you stop feeling like this. You, you get used to it. Maybe your nerves die or something, or you just get tuned out of it. But anyways, so we continue the story, and you can see time passing. She says sorry, and now she's sitting properly. So let's. So she said, "Okay, now let's end." So presumably the study has finished. Hmm. Okay, so bye bye, and everybody just okay. And so they are like, so let's see you in the congregation gathering. I think that's like when you do it on Wednesday. Is it Wednesday or Thursday? And definitely on Sundays. Is it on Sundays? Well, anyway, so that's when you actually go to the kingdom hall. So I'm like, so she left. And her mother said, bye bye and stuff. And she was going, she's so relaxed now. So is it finally done? Yay! I can do whatever I want. Man. And then her mother says, Now let's prepare for the congregation, for, for the gathering at the Kingdom Hall. And she was like, so disappointed. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. Like you have like several JWs gathering here. I think everyone, we can see everyone have a Bible and a literature. Again, literature is open. <coughs> so... Well, anyway, Jada was really love their own literature. Mm. So this guy is here. He's like, "How about question B? Who understands question B?" And we see a hand. He says, "Okay, so how about Messiah?" So she's like addressing her formally, and so. And she answers, yes, because Jehovah is going to help us. We, we don't know the question. I don't think there's a question. But she's just like trying to do a very typical question. And she said, yes, that's correct. No, he, no, she, he said. So she gets so relaxed because she got it right. And so everybody just moves forward. Somebody else is going to read the next chapter. I'm not sure how it's going to be like. I had meetings with a JW elder. We would read some of the literature and then we're going to answer a question. I get the questions right every time. 
<laughs> Those questions are easy. <laughs> I I usually counter questions because it's actually pretty easy to do that. But then I I've learned to not to because counter questioning them is not a good strategy. It just they don't care. They don't care what the Bible really says. Even I mean, no Christian really does. They just care about their holy tradition as taught from their church. They don't care. But yeah, so with my theology knowledge, I, which isn't a lot, by the way, but I do know something because I've been to all these churches. And I can now okay, so this church is saying that because the Bible is saying that, and this church is saying that because the Bible is saying that. So I can see the differences. So sometimes I ask, why don't you took that part of the Bible and explain it that way rather than this way? Because those two explanations would be contradictory. So sometimes I ask questions like that, but they just never answer out. <laughs> because they, I don't think they ever, ever can. Oh, so that's the next question. This is pretty interesting. It's not really like a harsh criticism on JWS or anything. So just asking, when you go to the paradise, what are you going to do? And somebody else says, I want to ride on the giraffe. I want to swim with the dolphin. And I want to meet my grandma's dad. So, yeah. so they're just some nice dreams. And she's writing some notes. Is she drawing a cat? Is she drawing a cat? Yeah, nice job there, Saya. And that's how you're going to draw this comic book in your future when you're an adult. Great job. I can see those cat ears. Those some are some nice cat ears. And we can see another voice that's sleeping. Maybe she doesn't she he doesn't understand words. By the way, my native language is Chinese and in Chinese she and he have the same pronunciation. So excuse me. And so this is like after the the gathering. No, after the literature study. So they are just chatting. So her mom is like, oh, there are so many disasters and accidents in this world, and the end of the world is coming. So that's what they are talking about. And we can see two scale, and this children is very small compared to her, so she probably doesn't understand anything. That's why he's sleeping. So there's that. And they're just greeting with each other. She's saying thank you for answering that question and stuff. So they mutually encourage each other to do the study and things and stuff. Um, and she says, because you had uh, answered that question, I think, if you take into this note. So this is really just a Japanese Language. I think this is probably just a Japanese thing. I'm not sure there's a, an English word for it. It says this word's meaning is, in the gathering, you raise up your hand or take or answer the question once somebody names you and just speak up, just answer the question. And that, I think that's what this word for. Do you, do you have a word in English for that? Just answering question. Do you, do you need a word for that? Not sure. But anyway, she says. People are very encouraged by you. So, because, and then she says, because what we learn today is very important, we would really like you to talk, go to school. You know, when you're at school, talk to your uh, teacher and friends about this. To, like, I think, says to witness or something. Yeah, basically to spread the word of God in your school, and that's what this, what she's saying. And so I says, yes, okay, sure. So, and this is saying, so this is the gathering at. Hmm. I think this is either 
Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not sure. You guys are the actual XJW here. You tell me which one it is. And anyway, so this is the gathering. We go to our brother and sister's home, and people who are near gather around and for one hour, and we study the Bible. Yeah, you study the Bible. Yeah. Anyway, so then there's、uh, Thursday. We go to Kingdom Hall. Sunday we go to Kingdom Hall for three hours. I've been to both. I think in Thursday this is like for the publishers. No. Anyways, I think this is for the door-to-door -door knockers. I think. But anyway, these two meetings are different. There's much more people on Sunday. In my experience, because some people doesn't go to this one. Again, I'm not an expert in JW. You tell me, please. Anyway, so then on Saturday,、uh, I go with my mom to do this thing. This thing is, according to the note, we say we go to proselytize. Okay, so they have a word for proselytizing, and there's another word for that, for something else. So this is like donating money and working in the church, I think. So there's another word for that. Okay. And here we see a guy, presumably an elder. So he says, "Okay, let's just go through this block." Okay. Okay. So they agree. They take his order. And this, so her mom says, "Saya, could you hand? Would you hand this pamphlet?" He agrees. She's wearing a sweater. It's nice. She's really cute when when she's young. <laughs> At least the the character she's she might not be. I I don't know her look. She I never seen a, a photo of this person. So they press a doorbell. Again, Japanese doorbell sound, ping pong, and we see a person. She's answering the door. So, Amishi, because in in Japanese you you change your family name after your name. And、uh, we are here to share some、uh, very useful words from the Bible for you. And she was like politely rejecting. And she, oh, this is small thing here. This small thing means he's like, oh, that's what they are here for. Like that's the kind of oh you're doing. <laughs> But anyway, so this is the, the manga thing. And then Saya really, she, she's struggling, and she smiles and says, "If you don't mind, could, would you take this pamphlet and you can read it while you have time?" And she was like, "Ah,、oh, okay, fine. I'll, I'll take this." She's like, "Okay, she's. We can see a sweat. She, she's not very comfortable, but." So child, why are you going? You you can't say no to a child. You can't say no to a smile like that. I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no to her. I wouldn't say say no. I'll just talk to her. I, I really like to discuss the Bible with you. If you are a JW watching this, I really like to discuss the Bible with you. No matter you're pretty like her or you ugly, that doesn't matter. Even if you're a guy, that's okay. I really want to discuss the Bible with you because. It's important that we have the truth, and you think the Bible is truth, and I like to know how you decided the Bible is the truth. Um. So yeah. So she hands her the pamphlet, and she says thank you so much, and she closes the door. So then they go back. Our mother says, "So you really did well there, handling that, and handing her the pamphlet." He says, "Yeah." So and her mother says, and now that person maybe she's going to be saved by Jehovah's teachings. And her she agrees. Just parent, child is just trying to teach her to do this thing. 
So that's very interesting. Uh, there's one thing I'm, I'd like to point out. Usually, I think, when you're doing George's Door preaching as a JW, there are supposed to be one person that's very experienced and one person that's young. And I'm not sure she qualifies as the person being experienced. I think that's usually like somebody in their 30s or 40s. Maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe she's good enough. Maybe her mother is good enough. But usually if there's a children, there's be a street person, right? I don't know. Have you guys seen Jada was coming to doors, coming to your door with their children? And if, if there's a children, how many people are there? But anyway, so that's a preview you can see on Amazon. And this book is for 972 yen. That's like $10. And you can get it on Kindle right now, but they are both Japanese. Oops. Mm. But they are currently out of stock unless you buy it on Kindle. So this book is published in October 20th and it's out of stock already. So I think it's going pretty well in Japan. And you can see all the other books. You can see this is talking about Jehovah's Witness. Like this guy has been Jehovah's Witness for 25 years, that's what it's saying. It's also talking about Jehovah's Witness. So you can see there's actually a bunch of Japanese books about Jehovah's Witness in here. It's just Amazon's recommendations. But yeah. Oh, this one. You can see this is a crisis of conscience in Japanese. So you can actually get a Japanese version of that for about $40. So yeah, so this is what I'm, I, w I want to show you today. This comic book. I mean, there's a lot of books, but not a lot of comics. Like just in this easy to read form for people who doesn't really know a lot about this religion. I'm not sure things like the things being said here is 100% like accurate about the Jehovah's Witness in general. I mean, it's her personal, it's from, it's based on her personal stories, but we can see those, the questions being asked like by her mother and when they're studying the literature. I don't think those are like questions like likely to be asked or the answer likely to be given in actual literature studies. I'm not sure. You tell me. Maybe I'm wrong. But they are like supposed to be the typical things that happens in those gatherings. So that's the thing. I really want to get this book published, actually translated into English, because this book is something about the Japanese Jehovah's Witness, like their daily life, and it expresses this thing in this really graphic way. And you can see, like, they're like um, here. Look at this. You don't do that in America, like in in the states or in I don't know in Australia or or, or whatever. You don't do that. You only do this in Japanese, right? So that's a very graphical scene. I think this is this would be very interesting for a ex JWs to read if they are from a different cultural background. And I mean, JWs is a worldwide organization after all, and we can see the thing. It definitely doesn't happen. You don't teach how other people how to sit in the States, right? You don't do this. You don't do this. And there's something about the Japanese Jehovah's Witnesses that's unique, and this book gets it. That's the point I'm trying to make here. That's why I think I, I would really like to see this book in English so more people can get the story and know how it's like in Japan as a Jehovah's Witness. And so yeah, so that's the message I have today. And the last thing is here. So this is 
Ishe Saya, and her Twitter handle is alpaca moth. <laughs> so that means fluffy alpaca. Anyway, so this is her Twitter account, and you can follow her. I followed her, so you can see this is she just self promoting for her book, and somebody interviewed her about the book. You can. I know you cannot read Japanese, but you can translate it between freedom of religion and children's rights. Yeah. So there's that. And yeah, so people talking about her comic book. Hmm. I think this is just a drawing. It just it has nothing to do with the of business. She's just drawing this. It's fine. Yeah, so that's her Twitter account. Follow her. Follow her. Please show her. There's a lot of English speaking XJW people that support her work. And I implore, I implore you to follow her. You don't have to follow me or do anything. Go follow her. She deserves the following. Because this is just a nice work, I think. But yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Bye bye. And follow her, okay? <laughs>